Last time we created this very simple org file. Using headlines we were able to give some structure to it. So we have an introduction, chapter one, summary and then some other headlines. Now it would be nice to be able to quickly move to the sections of this document and eventually across different documents. And this is possible using plain old links. So let's go ahead and create our first link. In order to do that, I need to type square brackets two times. And then I need to type the name of the headline to which I want to go. So in this case, I will start with summary. And that's all. Now I press enter and I'm at the summary headline. Let's repeat that. Chapter one. So instead of typing square brackets, I can highlight a given word or a sequence of words and I can type space ML and I can just type the name chapter one like that. And I confirm the description and then it works as before. So you are not limited only to the top level headlines. It can be any headline. So let's go with the first method of creating links. So I'm typing square brackets two times and let's say I want to go to about checklists and it works. So moving within a file is useful, but it's even more interesting to be able to reference some other files or even some resources on the web. So let's see how we can do that. So for that reason, I will open another file, another org file, and I will call it plan. And let's say I want to link from this document to this, the first document we created. So let's say I want to make a note here that I want to finish chapter one and I want to have a link to this chapter. So now I can press again space ML and I can type file. I press enter and now I can select a file. So in our case, this is dummy. I confirm. So now this link links to the whole file. I can change that and I can specify a particular headline in that file. So let's close this file on the left and let's specify another headline. So in order to do that, I need to hover, I need to be on the link and I need to press space ML again, which is the same as for creating links. And now you can see that I have the type, which is file, colon, the name of the file, and now two colons. And now I type the name of the, of the headline I'm interested in. So let's say summary. Although it's called chapter one, we want to link to the summary and let's see if it works. I press enter and it works. I'm at the summary. So now let's say I'm not only interested in a given headline, but I would like to be more specific. And let's say I want to work on this line over here, line 44. So let's go back to the previous, to the plan file. And let's, instead of using the headline name, let's type 44, which means that this is the line 44 in the dummy org file. So now if I press enter, I'm jumping directly to the line 44. Let's go back. It is also possible to target specific words, but this goes beyond this episode. And if you're interested, I will cover that in a separate video because it requires some additional configuration. By default, typing numbers refers to the line numbers and typing words refers to the headlines. So let's do chapter one like so. So now we can create several org files and we can link them together. We can target specific headlines or specific line numbers. This way we can easily create our own knowledge base. But org mode not only allows us to target other files, we can also target resources on the web. So the most straightforward linking would be to target a specific website. So let's say I want to learn more about org mode. And let's grab the org mode URL. Let's highlight org mode. Let's type space ML. And now let's paste the URL. So now if, if I press enter, I will go directly to this website using the default browser. 
like so. Right now this is pretty pretty great. We can link between files, we can link to the to the web, but there is even more. We can for example execute some code through links. So let's say I want to I want to know how to add two and two and let's select this piece. Let's press again space M L and now let's type Lisp, which is Emacs Lisp. Let's type enter. And now let's execute some code, some Lisp code. So two plus two. So now if I press enter, Emacs asks me if it should execute this code and I want to execute it. So now I know that two plus two is four. This is just a very basic example, but you can imagine that you can write any script and you can just execute it directly from your notes just by visiting a link just by pressing enter or with the mouse uh, as well like that this also means that now you can execute any function that's available in emacs so let's say i want to create my file and i want to have a link to the agenda i can select that space ml i can again use elisp and I can use some function which is already available in Emacs. So in this case, org agenda. If I press it, I can now display the agenda just by clicking on this link. But that's just the tip of the iceberg because org mode supports many other external links and this is the full list. So you can, for example, link to, to an email. You can link to the Usenet uh, group. You can link to IRC. You can even execute some shell commands. So let's see how it works. So shell and let's say ls org. Now I press enter and it displays at the bottom the files I have in this directory. So you have plenty of possibilities here. You can even create your own. And in the next video, I will show you how to create your own link in Emacs. See you next time. May the Emacs force be with you.